Today we're gonna take a look at a really useful grease pencil add-on for Blender called Sketch and Carve. This add-on will give you a new way of using the grease pencil in Blender for modeling, animation, and even physics and simulations. It will help you generate geometry based on your 2D drawings with a lot of customization and control. Developed by the creator of the recently released Grease Pencil from Mesh add-on, this particular add-on has been out for a while now, but recently it got a new update, so let's revisit it and see how it can be useful for you. Sketch and Carve is a modeling tool that will help you simplify and greatly speed your modeling process by taking advantage of the Blender's Grease Pencil tool. With one click, you can turn any 2D drawing to 3D geometry. This way, you don't have to worry about topology and moving vertices around. Using the add-on, you can create a really intricate model without moving a single vertex. It works best for stylized modeling styles, as the freehand drawing gives you a lot of freedom, but you can also use the line to draw straight lines. The shape animation workflow of the add-on is extremely easy to use, whether you are a 2D or 3D artist. The long list of features and tools can help you whether you are doing modeling, animation, or anything else in between. You can apply boolean operations, slice, extrude, create profile, and so much more. And you can draw and carve an already existing object, so you don't have to start from scratch. Furthermore, you can choose between different modes like non-destructive, semi-destructive, or a destructive workflow. Although the add-on's interface is not the most intuitive, as you need some trial and error to get it to work and figure out what everything does, it is extremely usable and once you figure out all the functionalities, it will be easy from there. To start using the add-on, hit K on your keyboard while in the 3D viewport. The add-on menu will pop up and if you already have an object selected, that you can set your preferences, like the viewport preferences and canvas options and hit OK. But if you want to start with a blank object, you can do that by clicking the Add Blank Object button on the add-on menu. This will put you in draw mode with the Grease Pencil object selected. Now you can use the Grease Pencil tool to draw shapes. After that, if you hit K again, this will convert the shape you have drawn to a mesh object. And depending on the boolean type you got selected, you will either remove, add, or intersect with the main object. By default, it's set to remove but you can easily change any of the settings from the add-on menu. You can also easily switch the canvas on and off or switch the perspective view by unchecking the orthographic checkbox. There is also an option to toggle wireframe on and off, and you have the option to keep grease pencil stroke after turning them to geometry. There is something else which is really helpful, and it is the mute button. It allows you to mute all the operations temporarily, allowing you to make changes to your grease pencil lines and hitting unmute will reapply the changes to your mesh. Another really useful feature that Sketch and Carve offers is presets. If you fiddled around with some of these settings and you didn't know how to roll back those changes, you can select Restore Operator Defaults from the Presets menu at the top and all the default values will be restored again. Similarly, you can create new profiles if you like the result you are getting and you want to save it to use on different objects or in the future projects. You can do that by clicking on the plus icon. As we mentioned before, you can choose a non-destructive mode. This will allow you to retain all the boolean objects, which you can use under the collection Carve Objects on your outliner. The boolean objects can be viewed by switching the checkbox guide on, and once in object mode, you can select any boolean object and change its size, position, rotation, or intersection options. In union mode, a newly created object will be joined with the main object, which will reduce a necessary new geometry, which would be otherwise created with the boolean operation. Once in draw mode, you can either draw shapes by making a single continuous stroke using the car material, or you can also use multiple strokes by selecting the sketch material. This way, you can fill the shape using the bucket tool, and you can apply the car from there. Moreover, you can draw multiple shapes at the same time. Sketch and Carve add-on gives you a lot of flexibility when working with shapes. You can extrude the whole shape or only work with lines, and you can have a lot of tools such as Mirror Tool with clipping and automatic cropping, Array Tool with a lot of control over the rotation and number of instances, Spin or Deform operators, and there is also Shrink Wrap option that allows you to use the Shrink Wrap modifier with all the shapes. Another workflow enhancing feature is automatically creating materials for all newly generated geometry, and a dice tool amongst other features. As of the last version, Sketch and Carve has a mesh deformal bundle with it named Sketch and Cage. 
It allows you to deform any object similar to a lattice object. The difference here is you can define your cage object through freehand drawing. To apply a cage to your object, draw a shape around it or around the parts you want to deform and hit K. And from the add-on menu, choose cage. You can edit the cage object as you want, like adding subdivisions or change extrusion length. Furthermore, you can stack cage objects on top of each other. For example, if you applied the cage to the whole object, but then you wanted to deform only a smart part of the object, you can do that as well. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.